Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. I'm gonna show you this DPX. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. I've carried it for two weeks now, and I've got a few other knives here for comparisons, and that's basically all I'm gonna do. Kind of show you, give you an idea of how big it is. A comparison I'll do right off the bat with the titanium and the S35VN, and the blade finish is almost identical. Uh, this is a Chris Reeve Sebenza 25. This one's on bearings and this one's on washers. But there are some similarities. Frame lock, hydraulic, and very hydraulic as well. You'd almost say that they were part of the same family. Another strange comparison is this proponent from Artisan Cutlery. Size very close. Very similar, both on bearings, both S35VN, both with thumb studs. This one's got a flipper, uh, both with very functional pocket clips, but completely different blade finishes. And I think there's the other similarity here as well is that uh, we've got some tool action going on here. So we've got a, a hole here where we could screw in a little bolt. So it makes it kind of a hard use kind of a knife, I guess. And I know that this one's kind of classified as a smaller hard use. So there are some similarities. I was carrying the proponent for about two weeks prior to the arrival of this one. Another comparison here is the wave feature. This one is the CQC7 perhaps. Uh, bearings, both on bearings, titanium, there's also titanium here on this liner lock, S35VN on both, yeah, different blade shapes, but same blade steel. The blade finishes, right here, kind of close, not exactly the same, but kind of close. The wave feature here works one time every time, all the time. And the wave feature on this one is actually more like a bottle opener, but it does work. You just have to be paying attention and being very specific on what you want to do. This one's kind of a no-brainer. And another strange comparison is this 308. And the reason why I brought the 308, 308 in here for comparison is uh, we're also on bearings and we've got the exact, exact same finish. So if you own one of these and you're considering the DPX, it's got the exact same finish. Completely different knives. I think we're S35 or are we 20 CV here? Okay, that would have been just too strange if it was S35 as well. Another thing that you could say that's comparison is the smoothness. And I think this one would probably drop as smooth as that one if the blade just had a little bit more mass. And I do have it tightened up just a little bit on this one right now. I want to say that in the two weeks that I've carried it, the only thing that I didn't like was the factory edge. Now that I've got my own edge on there, I'm liking it even more. Uh, taking it apart was easy. Putting it back together was easy. Maintaining it is easy. Starting to get some wear now. So that's kind of what I like. Even though I collect them, I like to have them worn and used and I like carrying them and using them. So I like this kind of finish. I like it more than a brand new version. It actually feels better in the hand too. I might do another future video showing the uh, wire stripper and the cap lifter in action, maybe the wave as well. There might be one or two dismantling or cleaning videos on this. Comes in many different versions with the G10 and different blade steels. Uh, some have a roto lock as well. I chose this one because of the blade steel. I like the S35VN. That's pretty much it. We'll talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.